You've got some sad news for us today. Well, news. I think I'm, I think I'm going to try and make it not sad, but I'm I don't I'm I've quitting reality TV, and I'm not going to be doing it anymore. Um, it's You're something quitting. I'm, so... I'm quitting reality TV. So I've, I've I've done nearly a decade of it, and I've loved every minute of it. But I've I've kind of grown into someone else, and I realised I I trained to be an actor a long time ago, and I wanted to be an actor, and I've just finished a wonderful film with Isla Fisher and and Steve Coogan, and, um, and I've got another project in the pipeline, and I, I, so I've, I've changed everything up, and I, I want to be an actor like I wanted to be when I went to drama school all those years ago. And, and I know that you have written a book, and, and the book is here, and yeah. I want to call it The Islands of Fandai. That's is that, right. That's right, okay, yeah. good. And it was inspired by a whale. Now, it, just to, for a bit of background here, we can see Ollie going to the Natural History Museum on Made in Chelsea two nights ago and looking at on the whale. Saturday, here we are. The whale rescue team. Why are we here? Do you want to know why we're here? Mm-hmm. All right. In January 2006, okay. a whale went down the Thames. It actually went down really? the Thames and got lost. Um, and this is my inspiration for my book that I've created for nine years. And I tell you what's even more wow. that you don't know. Hmm. In this very building is the whale that went down the Thames' bones are in the archives. In no this way! Now, I think we've got some pictures of the, of the bones, but you've seen them, have you? I see them tomorrow for the first time. Oh, really? So you, you're... I go into the archives that? tomorrow, yeah. Tell, so here's, here's the whale. Yeah. When it, and it was all a bit sad, this, really, wasn't it? Terribly upsetting. Um, but basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to create this enormous fairy tale um, of a little girl that sails past the horizon into a different realm. But I wanted to create it so that um, the whale down the Thames is actually a messenger from an evil man that was trying to find a king's lost love. Sounds a bit ridiculous, but I'm trying to bring it so kids can Google and be like, oh my God, like, look, this is true. Like There was a <laughs> whale down the Thames. This was the whale that saw like sent down the Thames. So anyway, it's all magical, but it's a magical fairy tale, kind of fantasy for adults and children. With, a, with a girl at the centre whose name is Antigone or Antigone? Uh, Antigone. 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 Antigone yeah. and, and just tell us about her. Well, she's fabulous. She's, a, she's, um, she's from London, but she ends up down in Cornwall and then ends up sailing past the horizon. And she lives in Chelsea, I guess. And she's on, yeah, she's on Cheney Walk and she sees the whale. Um, <laughs> she's a very famous street in Chelsea, yeah. <laughs> well, weirdly, it wasn't meant, I didn't, I wanted to leave Chelsea completely apart from this. However, the whale did actually die in Chelsea. Uh, and so it was, it was the right place to put mm. Antigone living. Um, but it's very, very magical and there's lots of, yeah, lots of twists and turns in it. But it was for adults as well. It, everyone's saying, oh, it's a children's book. And I was like, well, it, children will love it. But in the way that Harry Potter was a kid's book that turned into a, a book for all ages, that's exactly what I try to create. So you're, I, you're having the most exciting time because you're, you're leaving Made in Chelsea, as you say, in many ways, a, a good thing. Yep. You've got the book, you, your engagement as well. Yes. Can we see a picture of you and Gareth here? Yeah. Let's have a little look. And the thing that's, that's, that's mentioned all the time, there you are, is that mm. your surnames are the same. Yes, that's so, true. So he's Gareth Locke and you're Ollie Locke. Yeah. And then you, when you're married, you will become Ollie Locke Locke. Is that right? Well, or is that just, I read that, but I don't, <laughs> no, I don't it, know. It's, well, the, no, it's true because we did sit there and we go, okay, it's, it, everyone's got oh, so easy to just change the name. And I was like, well, there's no comedy behind that. I was like, there's got to be some comedy here somewhere. And I was like, well, no, actually, we're we'll changing you, are double barreling it. And, uh, and for what was a joke in a pub, kind of went, so actually, I quite like the idea that our families are involved together, and I quite like the idea that it's a bit of a mixture and a change and a, a mixer. 